Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another challenging question from radical equations. It is cube root of 7 minus x cube whole square equal to 5 minus x square. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by considering straight away our substitution 7 minus x cube equal to y cube. So from this substitution equation itself I can write x cube plus y cube equal to 7 and this I will call equation number 1. Now if I will apply 7 minus x cube equal to y cube then original equation will become cube root y cube whole square equal to 5 minus x square. Now I will write one exponent property a power b whole power c. Anytime we can write a power c whole power b. So I will write cube root it is y square whole cube and right hand side is 5 minus x square. Now this cube root and cube will be over. So y square equal to 5 minus x square or we can write x square plus y square equal to 5. So this equation I will call equation number 2. So let us solve equation 1 and equation 2. Let's solve first. So I will write here equation 1 x cube plus y cube equal to 7. Equation 2 x square plus y square equal to 5. Now I will consider cubing and squaring. So sum of cubes I will take a square. So a square both sides and sum of a squares I will take cube. Whole cube 5 cube a plus b whole square. So x power 6 plus y power 6 plus 2 times x cube y cube equal to 49. So from here I can write x power 6 plus y power 6 will be 49 minus 2 x cube y cube. Now come to the second equation. Here I will consider a plus b whole cube identity. So a cube plus b cube plus 3ab times a plus b so which is 5 equal to 5 cube 125. So it is converting into x power 6 plus y power 6. This will become 125 minus 3 fives are 15 x square y square. Now we can equate both the equations as LHS are identical. So I will write 49 minus 2x cube y cube equal to 125 minus 15x square y square. Now write all the term 2 RHS. So I can write 2x cube y cube minus 15x square y square equal to I will write minus 76 or let me write in LHS itself. So it will become plus 76 equal to 0. Now I will use another substitution xy equal to t. So this is one cubic equation in t and t is xy. 2t cube minus 15t square plus 76 equal to 0. Let's solve this cubic equation first for the value of xy. So I will write 2t cube minus 15t square plus 76 equal to 0. Now I will use rational root theorem and synthetic division this time. So if I will write eligible factors of 76 then I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 19, plus minus 76. Left hand side I will write plus minus 1, plus minus 2. Now I will take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient. 
so i will put t equal to minus 2 as it is there so 2 times minus 2 cube minus 8 minus 15 times minus 2 square 4 plus 76 minus 16 minus 60 plus 76 yes this is equal to 0 that means t equal to minus 2 is one solution of this cubic equation now i can use synthetic division as we know the base solution minus 2 let us write all the coefficient of cubic equation 2 minus 15 0 76 2 will be as it is minus 2 times 2 minus 4 minus 19 minus 2 times minus 19 38 38 minus 2 times 38 minus 76 0 so here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation so i will be writing 2t square minus 19t plus 38 equal to 0 now i will use quadratic formula so i can write t equal to minus b plus minus under the root 19 square is 361 minus 4 times 2 times 38 it is 304 divided by 2a so 2 times 2 is 4 so from here i am having two values both are real 361 minus 304 root 57 it is and denominator is 4 so we have three roots or solution of this cubic equation let me write here t equal to negative 2 then i will write 19 plus root 57 divided by 4 and here 19 minus root 57 divided by 4 now t is xy so this value is the value of x times y now let me write here equation 1 x cube plus y cube equal to 7 so i can write x plus y the identity x square plus y square minus xy equal to 7 so x plus y as it is equation number 2 x square plus y square is 5 minus of xy is minus 2 i am calculating for minus 2 so i will write here minus 2 right hand side is 7 so it will become x plus y times 7 equal to 7 we can cancel 7 and 7 so x plus y equal to 1 for t equal to minus 2 or xy equal to minus 2 now you can write here immediately it is for xy equal to minus 2 now this is one system where sum of roots and product of roots of any quadratic equation is known so i will frame one quadratic in x x square minus sum of roots so 1x so i will write x plus product of roots minus 2 equal to 0 once you will do factorization you will easily get x plus 1 times x minus 2 now x is equal to negative 1 and 2 two solutions are there now the turn of these two values if i will consider 19 plus root 57 over 4 and 19 minus root 57 over 4 ultimately we will get complex solution let me demonstrate how it is this value if i will write this value of 19 plus this value and here i will be writing the third root value in decimals so this is let me write xy equal to this is 6.637 and this xy i will be writing 2.862 now if i will use the same methodology these steps x cube plus y cube equal to 7 here i will put xy equal to 
6.637 this time. So I'll be having x plus y value. This is coming out negative 4.276. And here I am getting x plus y value. This value is coming out 3.274. Now you can see this is one system. This is another system. So I can frame immediately two quadratic equations. So for this system, I will get one quadratic. It is x square plus 4.276x plus 6.637 equal to 0. If you will check its discriminant delta value or d value, it is coming out negative. So first system will generate complex solutions. So it is rejected. Now turn off second system, this one. I will frame another quadratic equation. It will be x square minus 3.274x plus 2.862 equal to 0. If I will check delta again, it is coming out negative. So both solutions are complex valued. So we will reject these solutions. So only accepted values for xy it is minus 2 for real solutions. So we have calculated xy equal to minus 1 and 2. So our final solution is x is equal to minus 1 and 2. Let us cross examine. So I will write here check x is equal to minus 1 cube root of 7 minus minus 1 cube whole square and right hand side will be 5 minus minus 1 square cube root of 7 minus minus 1 cube is minus 1 so this will become plus 1 and whole square right hand side will be 5 minus minus 1 square is 1. It is cube root 8 whole square equal to 4. Cube root 8 whole square is 64 equal to 4. 4 equal to 4. That means this is true and tested verified solution. This is true. Now let us check the second one x is equal to 2. So I will write x is equal to 2. Cube root 7 minus 2 cube. So I will write 8 whole square equal to 5 minus 2 square. Cube root minus 1 whole square equal to 5 minus 4 cube root minus 1 whole square is 1. Right hand side is 1. Cube root of 1 is 1 equal to 1. That means this is also verified and checked solution. So ultimate solution for this radical challenge it was x is equal to negative 1 and 2. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.